Okay, so there are 50 different ways you can start seeds, and there's a million videos. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. I've uh, tried a few different systems. Uh, the, the, the other big one I tried was called soil block, soil blocking, soil blockers, and uh, didn't really have a lot of luck with that. Uh, it was pretty messy and inconsistent. Uh, I decided to go with the, the seed cell trays and this works for me. So to get started, the very first thing you're going to need is seeds. Uh, I order my seeds from Johnny's generally. Uh, also High Mowing Seeds is another excellent company, uh, seed supplier. Uh, I use just plain old wooden popsicle sticks to mark my seeds that I plant in the trays. Uh, I use these uh, cell trays. Uh, I, I also got these from Johnny's. Uh, they come with a, a, or you can order, a humidity dome that goes on top to keep things moist inside. Uh, these are the 24 cell, they're called Pro Trays. Uh, also, I got these, at, like I said, at Johnny's. This is a plastic tray. There's 24 different cells. They're nice and deep and, and pretty big for a tomato plant. Uh, and they sit inside a standard uh, 1020 cell flat. Just like that. You put the water in the bottom. Water soaks up through into each cell and waters your plants from the bottom. Uh, these seem pretty expensive when you first go to, to buy them. Uh, the, the lids are two or three bucks a piece. The trays come out to, I think you can get five for about $12. So they're two to three dollars a piece. And then these are usually about a dollar each for the bottom trays. So all together you get about six dollars into each setup. Uh, I bought these in 2009. So I've been using these now. This is going to be my seventh season using this tray. So they last a long time. Every year I clean them out, sanitize them with a little bleach and water, and uh, reuse them over and over again. Next up, you're going to need your potting mix. This is, uh, I just get this just at a gardening store. Uh, you want to get potting mix or seed starting mix. You don't want garden soil or, or dirt from your garden. It is not uh, sanitized. It's going to have a lot of bugs and, and fungus and all kinds of things growing inside it. So avoid bringing dirt in from the outside to start your seeds. You want clean, fluffy, light soil to start seeds. And a big tub for moistening your soil and warm water. Once you have your potting soil, you don't want to just put this soil directly into these cells because it is light and fluffy and it kind of uh, almost rejects the water when you, when you start to water these, these, uh, your seeds. You want to pre-moisten this soil. That's your dry soil right there, and it's very uh, spongy and sort of not, doesn't stick together at all. That's not what you want for starting your seeds. So just a little bit of water. This is just two liters of water.
Okay, now you have uh, all of your moistened soil in the seed trays. You need to start deciding what's going to go where. So I, I'm going to fill these with tomatoes. Okay, once you have all your trays done and your uh, seeds are moistened, I would definitely recommend bottom heat for germinating your seeds. You don't need to have this on there while your seedlings are growing all the way up. It's just really for germination. Uh, this will cut your germination time in half. Uh, you can use different things, heating pads. I've seen people do light bulb arrays underneath boxes. This is 50 bucks, but it lasts forever, and you can put a lot of trays on top of this mat. So next, we're just going to lay out your trays. Plug it in. That's it. And in about three or four days, you should start to see germination. The, uh, the, the seeds will start to germinate. You'll get leaves. At that point, you can take them off the mat. Uh, just unplug the mat and you're off and running. Here's a little update. We are at five days since I shot the last video. And we have germination and seedlings. Basil, looking good for five days. These are eggplants, which are a little bit slower than tomatoes, I find. There's one coming out of its seed there. And then we have tomatoes. I always get 99, 100% germination on my tomatoes. Just always, they always grow. So after you get your tomatoes popping out of soil and it's starting to look like this, you want to take your humidity domes off of your seed trays so that the, uh, the plants can breathe and they don't get uh, water trapped in the, uh, right by the stems or on the leaves. You want the leaves to be dry as possible and the stems to be dry as possible to prevent 
uh, disease and, and damping off, which is when all of your seedlings flop over and die. So take your humidity domes off, let them get air, let them get light for a week to 10 days on the heat mat. And then we'll move on to the next video where I'll show you the seed room and where these guys are going to live for the next six weeks. Thanks for watching.